There is not one person on earth who has chosen God. You cannot do it on your own. And you have never, ever, ever, never, ever made a decision on your own. Never made one. And the reason I wanted to start from the bottom down because there are so many people frustrated that, you know, they, they have become Christian, they have chosen God, and life is not working. You know, they're still making bad decisions, and they're unhappy about those bad decisions. I think there's one more short one I want to read. Stuart, turn to John uh, 6, 44 for me, all right? I think that's a quick one. But they are, and, and the reason I really want to just bring this home for you, because I want you to, to be aware of yourself so you can stop being angry at yourself and judging yourself. Uh, somebody mentioned earlier that of ourselves we can do nothing. Of ourselves we know nothing. The things I want to do, I can't do. I do the things I don't want to do. Clearly that says that you don't make choices. Because if, just think about it. If you made choices, even in your pride for nature, why would you make a bad choice ever? You would never, ever, ever make a bad choice. You're going to make the choice that's always good for you. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Or am I crazy in that one too? <laughs> or do you feel like you got to have some bad things to be okay with the good ones you choose? <laughs> <laughs> but just think about it. You never, ever, ever, made, you have never made a choice. Because you can't do it of yourself. You're influenced. But what it is, because you've been taught to make choices, You've been told that you do make choices by blind people, and you don't examine yourself, you don't relax long enough to see that you're not making a choice. You don't even make a choice to be angry or happy. Your circumstances make those choices for you. Your mind makes those choices. They make you mad or happy. Someone treats you wrong, then you're unhappy. Someone treats you right, what you think is right, then you're happy. You're not even making that choice. You're a puppet on a string. And so it all depends on who you serve. Mm -hmm. And we are puppets on strings. Even when we, we, we do come into salvation, God is now controlling us, making every one of our decisions. And next week we're going to talk about how you get into that, that point where you can see. Uh, that's why I was asked a favor since he had said that. How do you do that? But I want you to know how to do it so... So you can see that you are not making a choice. You cannot make a choice to even be born again. You can't choose God. Just think how many of you have tried to choose God. And like, did nothing happen. You didn't change. You're still angry, out of control, insecure, doubtful, emotional, you know, making bad decisions. Even after you, after you say you chose good. But the people don't question this stuff. They don't say, well, you know, if I've chosen God and I say that I'm born again, why am I still making these bad decisions? Why am I still unhappy? Why, why am I still whatever it is? Because if you have chosen him and he is good, you would think that things about you would be good. Wouldn't you think that? Yes. Yeah. But people are not thinking. I just want you to start thinking. God said, think on these things and you shall know the truth and become free. But ego people like to think that they are in control, that they are making decisions. But I'm telling you, that if you can calm down long enough to really see yourself, you're going to see you're not making any decision at all. None. You didn't choose him, he chose you. You can't make yourself be saved or born again or of God. Going down to the front of the church and quote the Bible in front of the preacher will not do it. But when you, and we'll, again, we'll talk about it next week, but when you do do it, when you come into it, you're absolutely going to know it. But you're going to see that you're really not in control of your life. You're not making decisions. It's impossible for you to do it. You, can't, you cannot choose salvation. It's a gift. He chooses us. We don't choose him. And if you stop being frustrated with yourself when you think you have it, and then things start to happen, and then you get mad and say, well, I thought I was saved. Darn it, I'm not saved. If you realize that you're not in control, I guarantee you won't get mad at, at when, you, when things go wrong. Because you're like, wow, why am I mad about something I have no control over? It doesn't even make sense to get mad about some things that you have no control over, but people get mad at it. It doesn't make sense to get mad when your husband or your wife 
says something or does something that's crazy and you're mad about it, you're being controlled. Why does one person affect your life? That doesn't make sense. But a, another person out here can manipulate you and make you feel and act a certain way. Have you noticed that? And you think you're making that choice. And then you decide to blame them for it. <laughs> All this stuff is crazy. It's madness. In a mad, it's madness in a mad world. And that world is within you, and you need to overcome it. You're not making decisions. Whoever decided that when you were born again of God, you can't dance at a celebration, it's dumb. That's not what salvation is all about. You're at a family event, and because you're so holy, you sit there like a knot on the log because you think you're saved. Then you can't even dance with your family members. But that seems right to the Christians because they have decided that is what Christianity is all about. Isn't that amazing? This stuff is mind-blowing, but I'm having fun looking at it. <laughs> I really am. And that's what, when you realize that you can't choose him, he's already determined who he's going to choose, and you stop being frustrated over it, let it go, you start to see these things. And then you can be a peaceful person. And then you can do the right thing. You see the right thing to do, and you do it. You really will. Take my, I'm telling you, you really will. But as long as you're frustrated, and you are making decisions, that's why you're frustrated. A free person who realizes that he or she cannot make decisions is not frustrated about life. Freedom is the ability to live life without being frustrated. That's freedom. But as long as you think you're in control, you will be up and down. Yeah. What doesn't make sense about that? Well, Have you? Okay. It seems like to me you're giving people that make wrong decisions a pass. Um, that's what it looks like to me. In, in what way am I giving them a pass? Well, because I see people make wrong decisions all the time, and they know that they're making wrong decisions, and they're not sorry for them. Um, if I make, I got you. Yeah, and and. <laughs> And I love this. I'm having a good time today. Thank it's, you, guys. It's for all this. selfish. It's all for their benefit, mm -hmm. right. and they're purposely doing that. Yeah. And yes, there's going to be a, a negative outcome from that, but I don't think. Okay, let me say fast. I have I 30 seconds left. That's, they're not making that. I'm choice. not giving them a pass. Okay. But what I'm telling you is that they are not making those decisions either. They can't help themselves. They'll be influenced and don't realize that they're being influenced, and that's why they. You know, they make up excuses about it because they don't see that they're being guided by a different influence, this prince of darkness. That's why people in darkness make excuses. And, you, and, and if you can see what's going on, I mean, whatever the punishment needs to be or action, whatever action you need to take, you will take the action, but you will also understand that they can't see what they're doing. And that doesn't mean you accept it or let them get away with it, but you... If you are in the light, you can see the people of darkness cannot help themselves, just as when you were in the darkness, you couldn't help yourself. For more information or to purchase a copy of this show, visit us on the web at www.bondinfo.org or call 1-800-411-BOND.